out of all the plugins that I use, there's not that many plugins where I can confidently say that it makes me money and it's absolutely worth the price. And this plugin is called Luke's Photo Reviews and it probably takes maybe around 10 minutes to download and set up and you don't really have to do much work after that. It works for you pretty much 24 seven. For the longest time, I didn't really feel like I needed to change anything because right out of the gate, this theme provides you with a very clean looking customer review section. It does cost money, but in a moment, I'm gonna show you why $9.99 a month is actually a bargain for something like this. They do have a 14 day trial for you to kind of test it out. I also included a link down below, so you can go ahead and click on that link. It'll bring you to this page right here, and then from here, you can go ahead and add this app to your Shopify store. This is what you're gonna see once you actually download the plugin. I downloaded Luke's probably seven months ago, and here you can see that Luke's has generated over $5,000 in sales. One of my favorite features about Luke's right off the bat is that it allows the customer to add a photo of your product. And it just adds a little bit more, I guess, authenticity to reviews because nowadays it's really important to make the customer who's coming to your store feel like they're actual customers who are talking about the products, not just pre-written like fake reviews that pretty much mean nothing. Especially if you have a store that sells apparel where sizing might be something different. A customer might actually leave a really valuable review and it might help another customer choose the right size. Then you're saving a potential return or exchange in the future and you would be saving money. You can actually make it so that when a customer leaves a four star review or under, it won't show up on your website. Under the collect reviews tab, we have this option to auto publish new reviews. And here is where you can kind of set what kind of reviews you want to actually show on your website and which ones you want to leave out. So here I have it set for four stars and above. So every single review that comes in four stars or five stars will automatically publish on my product page and customers can go ahead and read that. Now, if it's a three star, two star, or one star, it's not going to publish that immediately. Instead, it's gonna funnel through my dashboard. From your dashboard, you can go ahead and improve that, which will then publish it on your website. So for example, here we see Stephanie G. She bought this shoe over here. She gave it a three stars and uh, it didn't show up on my website. You know, obviously you don't want low star ratings to show up on your website. Maybe a couple of them just to show that you know, you are being authentic, you're not trying to hide anything. What I do personally is I don't just leave them out of my website and then call it a day. So you can go ahead and click on Stephanie's name right here and it'll open a new tab where you can actually email Stephanie. This gives you an opportunity to make up for your mistake. Don't just leave them in the dark and then expect them to buy again when they had a terrible experience and no one followed up with them, you know? Once someone has a bad experience, they're out the door and then it's like you never see them again. So you might be asking, how do you incentivize customers to leave a review in the first place? So who's actually going to spend the time and go to your website, write a well thought out review and then snap a photo and then upload it to their computer? That seems like a lot of work. Uh, I'm gonna go over to the settings option. So the way that Luke's helps your customers write reviews is that you can offer a discount if people take time and write a really good review. And for me, what I do is I offer them a percentage discount. You can also offer a fixed amount, but I offer them a 15% discount if they leave a review for a product that they purchased. Once you actually make a purchase, uh, there's obviously some time that needs to pass before they get the product, you know, especially with all the delays that are happening because of this pandemic. What I've told Luke's to do is um, 14 days after they purchase that product, they're gonna receive an email inviting them to make a review. And I chose 14 days because I want them to experience the product, get a better understanding of what they like about the shoe and maybe what they don't like about the shoe. If I set this email timer to maybe five days, they might be like, why is this company emailing me to leave a review for a product I haven't even received yet? If you're really trying to make the best impression, you can actually go under display reviews and you can choose the color of your stars. You know, maybe you have a brand color, maybe you 
know the psychology of colors and you know which colors are known to uh, evoke different emotions but anyways i have mine set to like this yellowish gold color you can select the font you can select a modern or classic style you can kind of test that on your own here i'll show you what it looks like on my actual website we're gonna dive into one of the product pages that i have and here we can see that we have two reviews here one of which has a photo and it even has this little check mark that verifies that this was a paying customer this person actually purchased they left a review um, they left a photo this is kind of a a side-by-side -side comparison of what a review would look like with the photo and without the photo everything that i showed you is kind of what i set up i don't really go through each and every section uh, but you can because this app is very powerful and yeah there's just a bunch of other integrations like clavio the email marketing software aftership in case you use aftership to print postage labels and and manage returns just a bunch of different ones i'm not going to go into all of them but you can kind of check them out here i don't touch it too much i would say the basic plan is where i would start if you're just starting your store or if you have if you have a hundred orders or less a month then i would just stick to the basic plan you will definitely get a good idea of how the uh, plugin works and you'll be able to see if it's worth it so here in the advanced plan you can see this bottom part it says full aliexpress importer so if you are doing drop shipping for example this plugin is super popular if you're doing drop shipping you're not actually holding physical products and you're just getting a commission for selling products for other companies in theory you can start a store today import 30 different reviews and they're technically authentic reviews it's going to make your store look like it's been around and it's been established for some time so that's going to wrap up my tour of luke's if you're just starting your shopify store or if you have an existing store already i would recommend this one it's honestly very reliable uh, you can find a link to download the plugin below and you can get started immediately so and with that i'll catch you guys in the next video